Welcome to the third episode in our VAT series. So far, we've covered the basics of VAT and voluntary registration. So be sure to click the link to the full VAT playlist if you've not seen those episodes yet. Today, we're getting into the difference between zero rated and exempt suppliers and how these impact your business. Now, this video will cover what are zero rated suppliers and how it could benefit your business, goods and services to the EU and non-EU countries from the UK that could fall under zero rated suppliers, and what are exempt suppliers. Before we get into today's video, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to make sure you're kept up to date with all our latest content. This really helps us to produce more helpful videos and get you free quality advice from real qualified accountants. A charge to UK VAT arises when a taxable supply of goods or services is made in the UK by a taxable person. The term person can apply to an individual sole trader, a partnership, a limited company, LLP, or any other body that supplies goods and services in the course of business. A taxable supply is any supply of goods and services in the UK other than a supplier which is specifically exempted from VAT. So a taxable supply includes standard rated, reduced rated, and zero rated. So zero rated suppliers are by definition a taxable supplier. Why is this significant? Well, let me explain with an example. Let us say you are a business supplying non-luxury foods such as meat and poultry that are zero rated. Each food item you sell costs £100 multiplied by 0% VAT, which equals £100. So you are technically charging VAT just at the zero rate. A full VAT invoice receipt is still issued with your VAT registration number on it. Now, the beauty of zero rated supplies is that you can claim back any VAT your business has incurred. So for example, let's say in the year your business turned over £100,000 of zero rated supplies and it incurred £15,000 of VAT in goods and services in the course of business. Your VAT return would look something like this. Sales VAT actually collected is zero, Input VAT actually incurred is £15,000, so therefore a VAT refund of £15,000 would be due to your business. It's worth noting your business will have to be VAT registered in order for the above to work. You cannot simply do this by supplying zero rated goods without being VAT registered. We've compiled a free comprehensive list of zero rated groups and suppliers for you to download and keep for future reference. Simply click on the link below to head to our website and download the PDF. Generally speaking, goods traded between the UK and EU countries are also zero rated subject to conditions. Exports of goods from the UK to non-EU countries can also be zero rated, again, subject to various conditions. To get more information on this, you can refer to VAT Notice 703 through the link below in the description box. It's quite technical, but definitely educational and straight from the horse's mouth, HMRC themselves. Exempt suppliers are exactly what they suggest, exempt from UK VAT. They are not classified as a taxable supply, and therefore, if your business makes exclusively exempt suppliers, the suppliers are not subject to VAT at all, at any rate. However, your business cannot register for VAT regardless of your turnover level if it is only making exempt suppliers. Now, if your business makes any combination of exempt, standard, zero rated, and reduced suppliers, then we strongly suggest you speak to a trustworthy accountant, as this is where things get rather complex and you will most likely need a VAT evaluation. If you don't know where to start, click on the link in the description box below to head to our site where we explain what a VAT evaluation entails in a lot more detail. You can also find a full and comprehensive list of exempt groups and suppliers in a handy PDF for you to download and keep. I hope this video has helped you understand this particular VAT topic in a little bit more detail and taken you closer to knowing your numbers. As always, let me know in the comments your thoughts on today's video or if there are any topics you'd like us to cover in the future. Finally, be sure to like and subscribe as this really does help us to get our content out there. This is Tony D'Angelo for the Accounting and Tax Academy. Thanks for tuning in.